one of the things that happened when this toilet was put in was when you'd open the lid, it would slam against this painted wall. And so you can see here where actually the toilet seat is marred by the purple paint. And I had to like repaint the wall. And so then I stuck like some DVDs like back here. I just put them upright. That's kind of dirty and gross if you think about it. Um, they never really got splattered, but you know, I don't know. That's just disgusting. So what I did, I saw this idea on like a website. What I did is I made a little piece. So this is like a soft, like little rubbery piece, and it's super, super glued onto the toilet so that when the toilet is opened and it hits the wall, the toilet seat part doesn't come in contact with the wall. This part, this rubbery part does. And that was basically a free thing because like any packaging like this MP3 player, you know, it comes with this kind of packaging. And so I took the scissors and I cut that piece out and um, did that and then super glued it, just super glued both pieces, stuck it on the toilet real good and that was the fix for that. So I figured you'd like to hear that because a lot of people have RV toilets and they're not necessarily going with the original wallpaper that was there or they don't want the lid slamming into the wall because maybe the wall would hit the lid. So that's a way of avoiding having your toilet, and some people have compost toilets and they do that too. So that's a way of having your toilet lid when there's no tank, when there's an RV or compost toilet, to keep from slamming into the wall. So it's a little tip, it's not much, but it's a big, big help. And it just keeps things cleaner and nicer and... Uh, more trim line looking to not have junk sitting on the back of your toilet to block the seat from opening. And it's a lot less filthy. So if you like it, like, subscribe, share, comment, and have a great day.